Okay, welcome back to some more Omori. We're going to a shop and getting some flowers. Because Hero is a little mama's boy. But it's fine, because he's adorable and so is Kel, and I love them all. Okay. That guy is still waiting for someone. I think he's been stood up. Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you? Buy. Oops, before I forgot. Akira, here's some money for Mum's flowers. You didn't think I would let you pay for it, did you? Oh, Wow. Uh, Mum's gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them off at my place, Akira. Okay. Why do I feel like some plot thing is about to happen? Like Aubrey's gonna come out, come out, come up out of nowhere and fight us for some reason. Do 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 do. Hmm. Looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. Sound good to you? Okay, so we gotta find her first. I like the cookies. Not in the kitchen. Also, was it? I thought I saw something shiny over there. Probably in Sally's room. They're probably in their room. <laughs> hey, Mom, I got you some flowers. Oh, are these for me? They're beautiful, thank you. Ah, Hero, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man. I'm sorry for overacting earlier. I know Akira is moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Mum, that's kind of depressing. We'll be fine. I'm sure you will be. Take care, Kira. Know that you'll always have a home here. Aww. Oh wow, it is kind of dark. <laughs> wow. It just hit me. It's been so long we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Akira. <laughs> Whoa, this place is cleared out, Akira. Your house feels a lot bigger now that nothing's here. <laughs> there used to be a couch where here where we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, and this is the stain from that one time I spilled my orange to Mari got so mad at me. Well, that's because her cat stepped in it and walked all over the house. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, it looks like it's getting too dark to see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. <gasps> Wait, I have an idea. What if we stay here overnight? It's gonna be our last time in this house forever, right? And when will be the next time we can spend the night with Akira like this? I'd love to, but Mum's not gonna be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because because of Sally's crying anyway. You're gonna wash the dishes for bleh, with Mum for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so we'll be we'll only be a walk away. I'm sure Akira would appreciate it as well. This house being so empty will make make him feel like real lonely. I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left and the piano was to the right. I wonder if the piano is still there. I'll go ahead and see.
Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. You know, I was kind of expecting you to be bad. Yeah, same. Sure. <laughs> I guess I still got it. Hey, Akira, that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was this song you used to play with Mari. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? Hmm. I'm glad that someone's been taking care of Mari's piano. There's barely any dust at all. It's a hell of a window. Uh. How come Hero still remembers how to play all good and stuff? I can barely read sheep music anymore. Yawn. Man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. So, where should we sleep, Akira? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds like fun. We can sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Cal, wait for me. <laughs> These two are the most lovely little beans. I'm curious where they went, though. Also, why can't I not run in my own house? Pardon me, wrong room. Okay. Probably not looking for blankets in here. I checked anyway, though. How did you set all this up so far? <laughs> you guys are masters at this. Hey Akira, we built a bed for. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. This was Kel's idea. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, right. I doubt Kel could build all of this on his own that quick. By the way, Hero. Akira and I got you a gift. Kel gave Hero's gift to Hero. It's Papa Chip. Chips chip off the old block cookbook. Do you remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remembered. I remember when I wanted to to be a cook. Seems so silly now. Hey, you were pretty good at it. And you can still be a cook here. Ah, uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? So like, why not? I don't think it works that way, Akil. <laughs> he fell asleep. He's such a fast sleeper. Yeah, that's amazing. Always been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Akira. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mari. Yeah, this seems a bit harsh for Boar. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now. But it seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. Sigh. It's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. Anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon too. Good night, Akira. I'll talk to you in the morning. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Please don't put me in the white room. If you do, at least give me the door.
Okay. I think this is just kind of confirming that Akira and Omori are basically the same person. Or just actually the same person. Define Basil. There's no one here, and it frightens me. Waiting for something to happen? I am on my own. Are they in the park? Alright, this is creepy. I don't think I like this. Basil's house. A thick fog envelop envelops the entire forest. Oh, I know where I need to go. Because Akira is no longer afraid of the water, neither is Omori. Right? Looks like it was the right call. Omori, you're here! I'm so glad you found me. Tell Aubrey, Hero, and all the children are gone. There's a thick fog enveloping the entire forest. Everywhere except here. Maybe our friends are somewhere across the water. Let's find them together. Do you want to join me? Please don't trust her. Thanks, little brother. I knew I could count on you. I keep you company so you're not alone. I know you really hate that. Nope, we've already been through this. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. But Mori is no longer afraid of water. Drowning. You know, that's actually, uh, I don't, I don't actually think that's a good thing now that I think about it. Considering this kid quite clearly has a lot of suicidal tendencies. Hey, wait. So he's not afraid of spiders anymore. He's not afraid of heights anymore. I have a really nasty and upsetting feeling in my stomach saying, hey, are these going to be all ways he attempted suicide or something. Obviously the knife was one as well. It worries me. Are you guys all walking on the water? That's not how you swim. I can't open my inventory either. I kind of wanted to see if Mari was actually a proper party member. Hello, shadow person. Talk to me. Shadow person disappeared. I crushed him with my... Shadow person. Hi. Swim up the waterfall. I believe in you. You're like a salmon or a moor. <laughs> ah, here we go. Uh, okay, we can either go back in the water there. Or we can go back in the water there. Let me guess. Or we can go back. Amori, I'm so proud of you. You swam all the way here, even though you've always been terrified of water. 
but there's still one big old thing you're afraid of, isn't there? Something a little bit harder to overcome. Kind of worried about that. happening. Is it just me or is more moving faster? I feel like I live confused in this game. Basil. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. I somehow went the right way. Cool. I'm worry. It seems that you've forgotten something important. Are you okay with that? I'm not too sure. Hey. You've seen this curtain once before. The last time we went to the lake. This is my stop bar. I know I shouldn't have come. It just gets lonely without everyone. It's not my place to say anymore, but I hope you're still there, Akira. I really miss you. It's the window. Wait, are we going to wake up as Akira now? Goodbye, little brother. Going down for well. I am confused. I'm creeped out and I'm kind of sad. Anglerfish, cool, cool. I like the aesthetic. There's an M key. No M. Oh, it says O. Oh. Six keys left, and there's a crack in the ground. Ribbit. Waiting for something to happen? No. There's a hole here. Go into the hole? No. What's over here? Hello? Hey kid, you want to go somewhere cool? You should go to Last Resort, it's the hottest, trendiest place. I can take you there if you want. It's all the rage. Come on, don't be shy. I don't bite much. Okay, let's sod it, why not? A little bumpy, but not all that bad. Come back anytime, kid. I had to check if I took damage. <gasps> yeah! Screw that. Ah, oh, last resort. Endless highways. Blub blub. Gal! My boy! Hey Amori, there you are! Where have you been, buddy? 
while you were gone, everyone got tricked into signing contracts, so we all have jobs now. <laughs> Sniff. We've grown up so fast. My job is to point people to a last resort. That's where I work. Huh. There it is. So that's where everyone went. They got tricked into signing something. But I gotta say, this job thing isn't all it's cut out to be. So why don't we get everyone to quit and get the heck out of here? Hero's been travelling a lot for work lately. But I know for sure that Aubrey's working on the fifth floor at the last resort. We should go find her first. Aubrey job. Who are you? Goo man. Hey you. Yes, you there with a stoic expression. You look like someone. You look like you want some fresh milk. Fresh from sea cow farms. The freshest. Rotten milk. Cool. It's the freshest. Found a clan. Another job for Aubrey. Hey you. Yes, you there with a stoic expression. I just have peaches. Yep. Uh, not yet, actually. If it's once in a lifetime, I want to do it when I have everyone here. Could I interest you in a honest to goodness, completely organic bottle of water? By having a liquidation set. Mari! Hey, Mari! Look who finally decided to show up. Amori! It's so good to see you again. Wow, completely ignore Kel. What is it, Amori? Aren't you happy to see your big sister? Oh, that's just Amori being Amori. You can't blame him for, for the way he looks. Anyway, as I was saying, working pays the bills, but it's not very exciting. So me and Amori are going to get over in here. And then, we're going to find Basil. Oh yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Nah, don't worry about it, Mari. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out of the last resort real quick, no problem. Okay, if you say so, Kel. One more. I can't wait to can't wait for you to meet the boss. He's awesome. You're gonna get tricked into signing another contract, aren't you, Kel? I I have no hope for you, I'm afraid. Also, I don't think I talked to you. Hey you. Yes you. Listen, I can't say no to some good old-fashioned dynamite. Hey, are you kids here on vacation, or are you one of the staff? With all this construction going on, they can at least invest in some uniforms. Ah, uh, it's nice to finally take a break. Are you from a city too? You look like a couple of city kids. Food is good, but the sewage is horrible, am I right? The pool... Underwater. It looks sad. Hey, okay. no splashing in the pool, okay. You are pretty sure this pool is haunted. You want to go in? Yes. Enjoy the haunted pool. Ghost pie. Oh, cool. There's an Oki. Okay, this is not nearly as horrifying as I was, as I was imagining.
goodness, what impeccable timing. I seem to have found myself in quite a predicament. I've sent letters to a number of my acquaintances asking them to attend this elegant feast of mine. But as of this moment, not a single invitee has made an appearance. Not one. This is preposterous. A lesser ghost would be enraged, but my finer senses tell me that they may simply have become lost on the way here. You see, when I sent out my invest invitations, I had forgotten to include directions to the venue. Being a true gentleman and host, I refuse to start this party until all my guests have arrived. Would you be so kind to help my guests find their way here? Sure. Thank you, good sir. Here are some maps with directions to my party, stamped with my own personal top hat seal of approval. Six spooky maps. Please deliver these maps to each of my guests. They will be able to find their way here on their own, surely. Ah. Uh, this pinata. What? You know, I was just thinking that that pinata looked kind of alive. I also find it funny that the Oki was here. Along with a lot of other Okies. There's a hole there. Look into the hole. Yes. Why have I never done this? Mm -hmm. Hey, I learned why I never do this. Oh. Hello. I am Jash of many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? Spark club, poetry book, present. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I gotta find ghosts at some point then. Oh, it's a joke. And toilet ramen. Knew it. <laughs> Knew it. Trash. Grain juice. Ah, that's memories probably from seeing the beers of the all American guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Roger that. Very positive. Cool. Haha, <laughs> man, this is one good joke. What a good freaking joke. What lies at the bottom of the sea, at the bottom of the ocean, and twitches? A nervous wreck. Excellent. You recorded the joke in your joke book. Okay. Good noise. I like that noise. That's a good noise. Okay. Uh, wait. Are you guys all healthy? Good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call it there for today. So if you enjoyed being under the sea with me, two days left. Whoa, what? I never noticed that before. That's kind of creepy. Uh, anyway. If you're as creeped out as I am, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, bye!